Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include UK will be forced to join the Euro or leave the EU if Brussels' power is not reformed. And the EU is building you a James Bond-style personal helicopter. Half a million EU passports given away to Eastern Europeans by Hungary. And rise in female genital mutilation, inspectors find an entire school class victims. Plus, EU sets deadline for Germany to scrap mobile rape plan. It's Tuesday, 8th of July. I'm Rick Timmis, and this is the Unit Nightly News. First up, the top story from our homepage. UK will be forced to join the Euro or leave the EU if Brussels' power is not reformed. The UK will be forced to join the Euro or leave the European Union if the country does not secure considerable reforms to the setting of EU financial regulation, a Europe economics report commissioned by Business for Britain has warned. The scathing report said since the 2008 financial crisis and the Eurozone crisis of 2010, the nature of EU financial regulations have changed significantly and that the UK's influence on EU-level financial services regulation has declined markedly. Britain's influence upon EU financial regulation has been an important gain of EU membership in the past, said Dr Andrew Lelico, author of the report and director of Europe Economics. The EU is building you a James Bond-style personal helicopter. Rush hour might just be the worst thing, and the EU agrees, which is why it's helping to fund a project to build an automated personal helicopter, which would fly above the traffic, removing precious hours stuck in traffic. Called MyCopter, the proposed Personal Aerial Vehicle, or PAV, would be a cross between a helicopter and a car, letting a user simply take off and fly around without needing any of the pesky barriers in place at the moment, like air traffic control. The project involves universities from all over Europe, including the University of Liverpool, and looks at turning flying into a task about as complex as driving a car. To do this, the team in Liverpool is creating new automated technologies that would include features like obstacle avoidance, path planning and formation flying, essentially allowing you to sit back, enjoy the view and never have to worry about being stuck in traffic again. Half a million EU passports given away to Eastern Europeans by Hungary. A little-known loophole has enabled half a million people from some of Eastern Europe's poorest countries to obtain Hungarian citizenship and, as a consequence, a European passport. A law introduced in 2011 has allowed an extra 550,000 non-EU residents to apply for Hungarian nationality and with it the right to live anywhere in Europe, including Britain. The passport giveaway was intended to enable people whose ancestors lived in the former Austro-Hungarian Empire to claim citizenship, but the system has also attracted applicants who admit they have little emotional attachment to Hungary and only tenuous ancestry. For some people in Eastern Europe's poverty-stricken nations, the scheme presents a chance to escape to wealthier countries such as Britain, Germany and Switzerland. Yesterday, a report by Her Majesty's Chief Inspector of Borders and Immigration, John Vine, said the European citizenship route was becoming an increasingly important way into the UK. Rise in female genital mutilation, inspectors find entire school classes victims. School health services in the small Swedish city of Nordkoping have found 60 cases of female genital mutilation among schoolgirls since March, with evidence of mutilation found in all 30 girls in one class, 28 of the most severe form. In Sweden, where the EU's Institute for Gender Equality says the female genital mutilation is considered to be a serious problem. The law enables genital examination of children to be carried out without parents' consent. 
FGM has been a crime in Sweden since 1982 and can be punished by up to four years in prison, increased to ten years if judged to be an aggravated offence. Now, in a Western society, this mix of torture, physical and sexual abuse of children is absolutely horrific. And when one considers the efforts put into human rights legislation, it strikes me as inconceivable that this can be taking place. EU sets deadline for Germany to scrap mobile rape plan. The European Commission gets Germany three months to abandon its plans to hike the fees mobile operators can charge each other for connecting calls, saying they lead to rates more than 80% higher than in other countries. The EU executive issued a first warning to the German telecoms regulator over its plans to raise the so-called mobile termination rates in April, but the Bundesnetzangunter, or BNZA, failed to address its concerns. The German regulator has calculated mobile termination rates in a way which differs from the Commission's recommended approach, the Commission said in a statement. BNZA has three months to convince the Commission that it will amend its tariffs, and if it fails to do so, the Commission will follow up with a more formal warning, which could ultimately lead to court proceedings and fines. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the unit, Nightly News. I'll see you soon.